Don't call me cause I'm unavailable Got nothing but up in my schedule But fun Trying to get wasted isn't difficult If you ain't with it then just stay at home We'll act like the rich kids now So broke but we'll paint the town So go ahead and leave your message at the tone Cause baby I'm so unavailable Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to what is probably my most anticipated video on my channel in the history of time. My subscribers have been begging me to do a Gossip Girl video for years and years and years and I've really felt the pressure. I didn't want to do it until I could nail it but I thought now, you know, we're coming up to a million subscribers, it's time to celebrate. I'm going to give you what you really, really want. In case you didn't know, I am the biggest Gossip Girl fan of all time and I would honestly love to like go head to head with someone who wants to challenge me over who's the bigger fan because I am just the biggest fan, I love it. I have been watching it since I was 12 which is a really long time. That's literally half my life. I have been watching Gossip Girl and I still love it just as much now as I did when I was a teenager and I cannot say that for any other TV show like Pretty Little Liars and 90210. I watch them now and I'm just like, oh my God, it's so painful to watch. It's so cringe, it's too young for me. But Gossip Girl is timeless. It's a piece of art in my opinion. The fashion, the styling, the outfits. There are some absolutely iconic outfits that still inspire my style today. As most of you guys know, Blair Waldorf is my style icon. Not just my style icon, but like my life icon. I have spent the last two weeks, almost every day, searching the internet high and low to put together seven different outfits from different Gossip Girl characters. And every single day this week, I'm going to go out to a Gossip Girly location and do a photo shoot in the outfit. So make sure you watch to the very end because I saved the very best outfit till last. Are you ready? Let's go. So guys, for Monday's look, I decided to go with one of my favorite Gossip Girl outfits ever. I wanted to start with one of my faves and that is Little J, Little Jenny Humphrey around season two when she's like fully in with the girls. She's cut her hair, she has the really cute little bob. She's getting a little bit big for her boots, um, throwing all the parties and getting a boyfriend. Kind of that social climbing stage of Jenny Humphrey, which is just my favorite actually. So the outfit that I'm recreating is one of Jenny's school looks and it's just one of my favorites. I always remember just wishing that I could dress like that for school. So I had to start off by getting a blouse for school and I got this one from ASOS, it's by Glamorous and I liked it because it has a little lace trim. Then I got this from eBay. I was tracking one of these down and this was like the perfect color combination. It's like black with blue, white and yellow check and it's just like a little school skirt with the straps to go over the shirt, which is literally like exactly what they wear. Then also from eBay, I got this little bow because they all have, all the girls at Constance have this little bow on their shirt. And it's just like a little uh, black ribbon with a little cluster of pearls in the middle. And I think that is adorable. I also picked up some white tights that have like a nice little um, pattern in like this. I think she actually has fishnets on in the picture, but I just actually thought these kind of looked more Gossip Girl. Obviously she's wearing a blue headband. So I got this one from Topshop. I was really lucky actually, because when I could find something that was like a mainstream shop, I was like, okay, good. Because finding stuff on eBay and like Depop is really, really hard. Like just really hard. The thing that was really, really hard to get was the yellow coat. Honestly, I think I must have spent probably three to four hours searching for a yellow trench coat. I literally searched the entire internet, but I finally found this one from eBay. It was from a lady on eBay in America and it was up for bidding and I messaged her and I was like, please, can I buy it immediately? Can you post it today? And she was like, yes, but I don't know if it's gonna get there in time because the delivery estimate basically said that it could come between one to like four weeks. And I was like, I'll just risk it. So I bought it and it actually came in time and it's actually perfect. Perfect. It's literally like the perfect coat for Jenny and I actually really like the coat. So I'm probably gonna end up keeping it and using it just 
for myself because I think it's adorable. For shoes, it kind of looked like Jenny was wearing character shoes. Like if anyone has done any musical theatre or shows, she's literally wearing character shoes. And I did have some, but they weren't really the right colour. So I just picked up some more from eBay. And to be honest, I really, really like these and I will probably just keep them. So for the bag, I'm really excited. I've kind of gone bag crazy this week because they always have in Gossip Girl an amazing designer bag. So I pulled some favours from the Catwalk Club. They are a website where you can rent designer bags like for an occasion or a holiday and they've lent me a few bags so for Jenny I have this amazing bright pink Balenciaga bag it pretty much looks really really similar to the one that she uses in the show I think she probably has one that's a bit bigger but this works for now um, it's just really cool I love like the combination of all the colors with Jenny like the yellow coat the blue headband bright pink bag I love this outfit I always have and I'm so excited to go and shoot this so let's see how it went we got your money like oh 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 spending all my time with all my mind yeah we got your money like oh 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 do it for the thrill i'm a maker eyes on me you will think it's my party i'm just sitting here sipping for coffee we got your money like oh 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 spending all my time with money on my i keep it stacked up like a mountain here I'm seeing you swinging from a chandelier. Don't waste your time with all those fickle friends. Just keep them begging when you're cashing in. So for outfit number two for Tuesday, I have picked another one of my all-time favorite Gossip Girl outfits, and that is Blair's Hamptons look. So this is the outfit when Blair is in the Hamptons and she's on a bike ride with Lord Marcus. And then there's another scene where she's with Serena and she bumps into Chuck and she's like, mm, don't need you anymore, I have another guy. It is such a beautiful outfit and I am so excited to recreate it. So it took me quite a while to find a dress because as you can see, it's very specific the colors and the print. I tried so hard to get the actual dress, but it was next to impossible. But in the end, I discovered this beautiful dress from Ted Baker and I messaged a few girls on Instagram who were selling it and I basically just bought it from whoever could send it to me the fastest. And when you look at the colors and the pattern and everything, it's pretty much perfect. It's not exactly the same, but I feel like this is the closest that I was ever going to get. However, I did need a belt. And as you can see, Blair's wearing like quite a wide, bright pink belt. In the end, I had to order a pair of trousers from Boohoo that had a belt and just take the belt off. I think everything about the way that it looks is absolutely perfect and it's gonna make that dress look even more like Blair's dress. I did a lot of research on this outfit and found out that Blair is carrying a Kate Spade basket bag, which is so amazing because it just shows how timeless the Gossip Girl outfits are because basket bags are so, so in right now, so in that I already had one with pink straps that just happened to match the color of Blair's absolutely perfectly. Next, I got this really beautiful, um, like silky satin hair scarf from ASOS, because as you can see, Blair is wearing a really pretty blue um, hair scarf in the picture. Again, a bit like Jenny, I love how the stylists were not afraid to experiment with color. So I'm gonna put this on and kind of like tie it so it comes down the sides like this. I think it's gonna look really cute. It was really hard to find shoes that were similar, so I ended up going for these really cute lime green ballet flats from ASOS. They're not the kind of thing I would usually wear, but I think for this look, they work really well because they're really bright, and this is just a bright, summery outfit, and I think it's gonna pick up really nicely with the green in the dress, and then like contrast to the pink handbag, and I'm just so excited to wear this. I can't wait to see how it all turns out. You walk around like you own this town and pay my bills, but you don't. Who gave you the crown? You were so proud. You're making rules, but I won't. Hey, baby, your lies, not now. But we're wasting my time right now. I'm packing up my bags, head the road. Can't stand here listening no more. Like you need to stay again. Go running back to all your friends. And you tell them how we did an end. So for the next outfit for Wednesday, I of course had to go with the main girl, the girl that started it all, 
Serena van der Woodsen. When I was a teenager, up until like maybe 20, 21, everybody said that I looked like Serena, like everybody. My own cousin sent me a picture of Blake Lively in Gossip Girl and said, is this you? <laughs> I was like, no, because I did actually kind of look like her, but now I don't, like I just don't anymore which is kind of weird, but anyway, good story, Freddy. <laughs> the Serena outfit that I've chosen to recreate is one of my favorite Serena looks. I'm not the biggest fan of her style the way I am of Blair's style and even Jenny's early style, but there are a few outfits that I love. But my favorite one is the one of her in the pink trousers. I can't remember the specific episode, maybe like season four, I think it is, but I'm not sure. I've just always loved the outfit. I'm not a huge Serena style fan the way I am with Blair, but I just really love this look and I think the trousers are amazing. Amazing. So I really wanted to recreate this. So for the trousers, it was actually so frustrating because I had a pair of pink trousers that were exactly the same and I sold them on Depop and I was so mad at myself. So I went on a wild like goose chase basically for the perfect trousers, found these on Depop, which are actually from River Island and so were mine, but they're not the same. And in fact, I actually think these are a little bit better because they're like palazzo pants and literally like the exact same trousers that she's wearing in the picture, the same color color, the same shape, the same everything. They are literally perfect. So I am so happy with these. They did come with a little belt, but I've pulled that out because as you can see, Serena is wearing a snake print belt. So I got this belt from, I think this was from I Saw It First, and this kind of looked like the perfect width and the right color snake. So I think they'll look really, really good together. It was kind of hard to see exactly what shoes Serena was wearing. So I'm just gonna pop these white heels with the outfit. These are from Guess. She's just wearing a really plain little like beigey colored tank top. So I got this one from Free People from ASOS, which is probably more expensive than I would care generally to pay for this kind of top, but it was the exact same color. So I had to. And of course for jewelry, Serena is wearing this really like statement green necklace. And it took me ages to find something even remotely similar. I mean, I looked for so long and then eventually found this necklace from Etsy, which I think is kind of perfect. It's pretty much the same shade of green and it has gold as well. And then I also picked up this necklace from I think Boohoo as well because I thought that this would look nice kind of layered with the green. Luckily, I already had a hat that is pretty much the same as the one she's wearing. And this is from Ted Baker. I have got this very dirty. There's a huge lipstick mark on there. There's like makeup all over it. And I've been considering getting rid of it because it's so dirty. So happy that I didn't. And finally, my friends at the Catwalk Club helped me out again with this amazing gray Chanel shopper tote bag, which is not exactly what Serena's wearing but it's a similar kind of shape so yeah I'm really really happy with this outfit I feel like it's pretty much spot on so I'm so excited to see how it looks on and how the photos turn out So for Thursday's look, I'm going to be dressing as Jenny Humphrey version, I'm gonna say version three. I feel like Jenny had four versions. We had premature Jenny at the very beginning, like she's all cute and girly with her little Hello Kitty sleeping bag. And then we have Jenny version two, who was at the start of the video. And then you have Jenny version three, where she like bleached her hair and it was straight instead of curly. And she's going like a little bit goth. And then you have Jenny version four, who's just like full on emo goth. So I took my inspiration from this picture, which I think is when she's working on her fashion line with Agnes. Oh my God, who else hated Agnes? So I started off by getting the gray dress a little gray lace dress. This one's just from New Look. Then to wear underneath the dress, I picked up this really cute little black top. It's just a little t-shirt from ASOS. Um, and I thought that that would look cute under the dress to kind of make it a bit more like tomboyish. Then I got these amazing black lace tights. Again, I think these were from ASOS. It's kind of like a gothic lace 
which I think will look really, really cool, especially with the lace dress. It's like a lace on lace. Then of course I had to pair it with a leather jacket. This is actually my mum's. It's from All Saints. Then for a handbag, I got this one from Topshop. I really wanted a black, like leather, faux leather studded bag. So I got this one, which is quite plain, but I think it works. And then the shoes are literally like, probably my worst nightmare of shoes. They're these like lace up heeled boots, which I think are so Jenny. They're from New Look. Very, very chunky block heel at the back. Um, but I think they will work so perfectly for Jenny. And then to finish the look, of course I had to add a headband. I think even at this phase, Jenny's still wearing headbands. And in fact, this one kind of looks like the one that she wears when she's crowned the new queen of the school. So I think that this works really, really well. And it just adds a little bit of glam to the outfit, which is quite like tomboyish. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this one turns out. I have never been out of the house in an outfit like this, like never in my life. So I'm kind of nervous, but let's see how it turns out. Shit, I really do. So watch me sway and hit me touch your brain. So I can move like this all night and make you wanna stay. Dirty, dirty mind, dirty, dirty mind. I ain't you up, I ain't you up. My heart race, but turn up the pace. A hundred beats a second as you pull up to my waist. Uh, no, you didn't come to play. Vuto mm. Christe. So for Friday's outfit, I wanted to throw a little curveball, do something that was maybe not so obvious. So I decided to do Young Lily Rhodes because personally, the episode where Britney Snow plays Young Lily is one of my favorite episodes. This look was really fun to put together. It's very preppy, very country club, and a few of the things I actually had myself, which was useful. So I'm gonna start off with my blue Jack Will shirt because I just like the collar. Um, and think that's gonna look really smart underneath the jumper, which I thought would be a lot easier to find than it was. So Lily's wearing this pink like argyle vest, which I couldn't find, so I had to settle for this little like knit. It kind of just looks like she's wearing pale jeans, like pale pink jeans or trousers. So I have mine already. These are from Ted Baker. I've had these for ages. Um, and I just thought these would, you know, go pretty well. With the blazer, again, I was so annoyed because I had one that was exactly the same. Sold it earlier this year on Depop. And I was so annoyed at myself. So I had to go to eBay to find one. And I found this from Topshop. This is pretty much exactly what she's wearing. Just a really plain tweed blazer, but with a pink argyle underneath. I think it's gonna look so cute. For the boots, I'm just going to wear my own brown suede over the knee boots because I felt like it was kind of unnecessary to buy a brand new pair of shoes when I think these would do the job as well. The ones she's wearing aren't over the knee. They're knee high and they're more of like an orangey, just leather, not suede. Then for accessories, I first of all, have my pink velvet headband. I don't think she's actually wearing it in the episode, but I just think it kind of adds to the preppy look and looks really cute. And then I did also get this bag from ASOS, which is a little brown faux croc satchel, which again, I think really goes with Lily's look. I think she's supposed to have just come from school as well. So that's why she's looking all like preppy and smart. And I just thought that bag would go really, really well. And I'm very excited because I love this character. I love this look. So let's see how the pictures turn out. I keep it set up like a mountain here. I'm seeing you swinging from a chandelier. Don't waste your time with all those fickle friends. Just keep them begging when you're cashing in.
So now we are on Saturday and today's outfit is Vanessa. I am not a Vanessa fan. I just do not like the character and I just felt kind of uninspired by this because when I was looking at her outfits, I realized that she doesn't really have like a distinct style. She does have a style. It's kind of like boho, hippie. So I did find this one kind of hard because Vanessa doesn't really have like an iconic, memorable outfit apart from some of her evening occasion looks, which are amazing. Like her ballet outfit when they go to the ballet in season four is breathtaking. So I took inspiration from this picture that I found, which I did kind of recognize. I feel like it's again, season four. So I started off with this dress, which is very, very pretty. It's from Mango. And it's a really lovely, like paisley pattern in earthy tones, which I think suits Vanessa really, really well. I then borrowed this belt from my mum, which is just a brown leather plaited belt that I thought I could just pop around the waist. I noticed that she's wearing like a brown saddle bag and I didn't want to have to resort to Chloe because I don't feel like Vanessa would have a Chloe bag, um, but I couldn't really find a good alternative uh, for the high street. So Catwalk Club have helped me out again with a Chloe Nile bag, which I do think works really, really well actually. And the boots are also my mum's. Don't you love how I've gone to my mum to help with outfits that are opposite to mine and I don't have anything. They're from Aldo. Aldo uh, and they're just these really cute little brown like western cowboy boots which just tie in really nicely with the whole boho thing that we're going for and then I just got some accessories from Boohoo I first of all got these really cute gold bangles because I feel like Vanessa is definitely a bangle girl I never wear bangles but I really like these I like the noise and then I also got and I'm very very scared about these some huge gold hoop earrings which I think I have definitely seen Vanessa wear. I am scared because I've never put anything like this in my ear before. They look terrifying, um, but I think they're gonna look really cool. So finally, for Sunday's look and the final look of the video, I told you that I had saved the best till last and I have. It is the iconic three words, eight letters, white party dress. So those of you that have been keeping up with my videos properly will know that a few months ago, I managed somehow on Depop secondhand for about 15 pounds because the zip was broken but I got it fixed for 15 pounds. I managed to get the exact dress that Blair wore in the Hamptons White Party episode. And it's just so special to me because I love that episode. It's the three words, eight letters episode. And I just love the dress. I remember admiring it all those years ago when I watched it and I can't believe I actually have it. It's just such an iconic, recognizable dress. Like when I got this, I put it on and put it on my Instagram story and everyone was like Blair White Party dress. Like everybody knew it was amazing and I just loved love it and I am so happy and lucky to have found it and it actually inspired this whole video. So just quickly for accessories, first of all I have of course a white headband. I can't remember where I got this from now, I feel like it was Boohoo again when I placed the order for all the stuff and it's just like a little plissé knotted headband which I think works really well. She's also wearing a pearl bracelet so this is one that I already have. I can't remember where this is from, I think it's from Aura Pearls. The bag I've got isn't exactly the same but I kind of struggled to find a plain white like rectangular clutch which sounds like you would be able to find one so easily but I couldn't really find one but I actually thought this one was really beautiful it's from New Look and it has a really lovely like laser cut design which I think is really pretty and then for the shoes I picked these up from ASOS they are white pointy toed slingbacks I'm pretty sure she's wearing slingbacks in the episode which I couldn't really make out fully so I just went for these for safety but I think it all goes really nicely together this is such a special outfit and I just really hope I can do it justice when I go to shoot it you take your brain and you miss the shot you always want but you ain't got so listen up and I'll say it clear I got the pool and now you're done run, run.
So guys, that's the end of my Gossip Girl video. I really hope you loved it as much as me because I think this is one of my favorite videos I've ever done, if not the most stressful, but it was definitely worth it. Do let me know if there's any other Gossip Girl videos you'd like to see by leaving a comment down below. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.